Hello, I am Krishnamurti Pammi. In this video, I want to talk about Kano Analysis Model. This model we can use to prioritize product backlog features. Kano model considers customer satisfaction or end user satisfaction into consideration and then prioritizes the product features. It predominantly puts the product and customer experience into three segments. The satisfied end users or usable or satisfied users and very satisfied or delightful users. The y-axis is customer satisfaction. The x-axis is usable experience or satisfied experience or it's basically investment from the organization point of view. The first thing is the basic characteristics. It's called basic characteristics. Basic characteristics. Means if these features are available, customer expects this as basic. Okay, customer expects it's it's something that is you know, that's supposed to be there. For example, if you are using a Uber car, in Uber car. If somebody provides you a car having basic hygiene, that's something I expect. Okay, I don't mention about it. Even the marketers, they don't mention, you know what, we provide you a car having hygiene condition within the car. It is something that's expected. If that is not there, that's where uh, you get a frustrating experience. Let me tell you another example. I call up the Uber. Hello, uh, you know, I want a car. Okay, the Uber app provides the car details. Then the cab driver calls me and asks me, where are you going? Let's say I'm providing a destination which is around 30 kilometers from my origin. The driver says, no, I don't want to come because I may not get a return trip. That's, I get frustrated. So I, this is what I'm expecting that whenever Uber app provides me the car, well, cab driver details, I expect the car to be available to me on the stated time. That's a basic thing to me. Okay. So if I don't have it, the customer gets frustrated. These features makes customer frustrated and the customer may go to other competitive product. If these features are there, I don't mention. Uh, that's something I expect. Now, there is another feature that is called another characteristic that's here called is performance characteristics. It's called performance, performance characteristics. We want more of these things. For example, some rainy condition is happening. He takes me, uh, you know, with his uh, good driving skills. The road is not um, proper, but still he takes me in such a way that I'm not getting disturbed. Okay, more of these skill features, which more I do, more happy the customer is. So this is called his performance characteristics. We want more of these things. The third thing that comes is the delighters. That's so basically, these are the wow characteristics, delighters, delighters. Example, uh, the moment I get into the car, the car driver, uh, tells me, uh, you know, Wi-Fi is enabled within the car. Oh, I get really good feeling. A newspaper is available to me. Or uh, in a summer, uh, um, cold water is available for me. Okay, so those are the things that makes me feel, you know, very happy that you know, the the product is taking care of me. And it's say really, I'm really I feel very wow about those features, and I want to be with this product because of those features. So those are called delighters, wow characteristics. So now, what I want to say is, in Kano analysis, we get three patterns. Basic characteristics, means if you don't do it, you get actually getting into frustrating, customer gets frustrated and they may go to competitors. The more you do, customers may not mention about it, that's something they expected. The second thing is performance characteristics. Performance characteristics is more you do, more happy the customers are. Delighters means, Wow, you actually create a wow feeling. Okay, next. 
The, the other important thing is these wow characteristics over the period of time will become performance characteristics and after a certain point in time um, they become basic characteristics. For example, in India compared to Uber, we have Ola in place. So when more of a taxi for sure in place, when more of cars are actually providing the delighters, it basically becomes a performance character and slowly it becomes the basic characteristics. So maybe after six months or one year, uh, having Wi-Fi within the car may be a basic expectation. So the delighters are actually moving target. Over a period of time, they get on to performance characteristics or they become basic characteristics. This model has three patterns. One is basic pattern, basic characteristics, performance characteristics, and delighters characteristics. So these are three patterns. This can be applied not only to product design, it can be applied even to a uh, job also. For example, you, you want to do uh, more of a basic characteristics so that uh, your boss is not unhappy with you. You don't attend the meetings on time. You don't contribute to the meetings okay so you are a senior person you are supposed to contribute at a, at a certain level so contributing at that certain level boss may not mention to you but you know you have to do those things if you don't do those things then you know uh, you, your boss may feel unhappy okay so you have to make sure that you know you you implement basic characteristics fully so that your boss is happy with you the second thing is performance characteristics in performance characteristics you basically you have to do more of these things these are all your critical job characteristics okay these are your skills more you do more happy eventually with your performance your job your boss will be more happy with you and then the third thing is delighters for example you understanding the organization vision you understanding the innovation within the happening within the organization and you're going extra orbit extra mile and contributing towards to that so that's where the delighters come into picture. So this camo analysis can help you not only to the product design aspects, but also to personality aspects also. In Agile, you basically keep customer satisfaction in consideration and then you prioritize. Is the feature decreasing my uh, frustration of my user? Is the feature meeting the basic hygiene of my um, end user? Is the feature is performance oriented eventually more of these features whether can it lead to customer satisfaction or is this feature creating a wow factor a factor that that actually makes uh, the customer to be with my product okay in the example that i have talked to you about uber okay for example you you lost your mobile phone in a car or you lost certain gold or certain your wallet you forgot within the car Okay, and the cab driver calls you and says, Sir, you lost your wallet. Can you please take it up? Ah, oh, God, I will I will never forget that experience. I want to be with that product. So those are the delighting factors. The critical thing here is the, the strategy uh, to to avoid these frustrating characteristics is altogether different than the strategy to create a wow factors. Both are independent. So this is what is can analysis model prioritize the product in terms of making sure the basic characteristics are coming out so that the frustrating elements are removed similarly the performance characteristics are coming out so that doing more of these things create customer satisfaction eventually and these are the delighters means more of these things make you distinct in the competition so that you know the customers are with your product